So what is robotic prostatectomy? What is robotic surgery? Uh, you know, it's a question that's commonly asked. Uh, currently, there's really one machine out there. It's called the Da Vinci robot, and that's what's been used for the last 10-plus uh, years. And it's, a, it's really a computer-assisted device. Robotic surgery is something that I think every patient that has the diagnosis that is thinking of surgery should at least look into. And there are certain keys to robotic surgery. In the old days, uh, we used to do what's called open surgery, where we used to actually make an incision on the abdomen that was relatively large and then peer into a relatively deep space under the pubic bone and then try to remove the organ. That really has been, you know, at least half a decade or maybe even a decade in decline. And so over the last 10 years, open surgery has become something that is really relatively rare and robotic surgery, minimally invasive surgery, has really become um, the standard or the norm. And we'd suspect that probably at least 80 plus percent of patients in the United States who are having surgery for prostate cancer are probably having robotic prostatectomy as we call it, where the surgeon is controlling the instruments from a console uh, with the surgeon's hands. Um, so the robot does not do any independent surgery. The advantage really of robotic surgery is not only for the patient, but I think also for the surgeon. Uh, for the surgeon, the robot provides three-dimensional 10x visualization. It provides wristed instrumentation that are miniature, and it allows us to dissect and sew and, and get the cancer out in a very small, confined space where there's very minimal blood. And so we're able to see better, and we're definitely able to manipulate the organ and extract it much better than we were with even open or laparoscopic surgery. The advantages for, of robotic surgery for the patient, I think, uh, is multiple also. Um, obviously, smaller incisions, less pain, faster recovery, but also much, much less blood loss, a very, very small risk of blood transfusion. And then overall, the key advantage is better outcomes. Improved continence recovery, much faster. Improved recovery of sexual function. And obviously also, most importantly, very good cancer results. The reason surgeon experience is so important is a robot's just a machine. It's not actually doing the surgery. It's not actually making the decisions. And so the experience you have from all of the surgeries that you've done before really allows you to know where the cancer is, when to save nerves, when to not save nerves, what organs need to be removed, how they need to be removed, and how to not traumatize these collateral organs so that you get the best chance of getting the trifecta, urinary continence, recovery of sexual function, and obviously the most important, cancer cure. We've performed the most robotic radical prostatectomies in the world and in the history of the disease. And so it's something that we do understand well. We probably see more prostate cancer diagnosis than any single place in the world as well. As our experience has developed over the last decade, we've been able to come up with various techniques for nerve preservation, and we're probably the place in the world that is known for many of the key inventions for nerve sparing surgery. And so over the last 10 years, we've traveled around the world uh, to multiple countries and multiple states in the U.S. teaching um, how to perform this surgery and get the optimal results for continence, sexual function, and cancer control.